So I was actually saying that if you move from one town to another in the same country, if you if you are in Africa, in case you are in a country that has what is going on in Cameroon, what we all know is going on that we don't know when it's going to stop. If you have to move from the Nozo to another town, if you have to move from one town to another village, from one village to another village, one town to another town, or wherever that you are not ready to move because of a situation you have to move you have not planned to move you have not put in a budget you have not budgeted any finances uh, and you don't have any certificates to start up your life with uh, you could actually do these things if you're in africa these things do not need certificate they do not need capital they only need your presence your energy your manpower, your initiative, uh, and your time. Yes, of course, and your time. So I actually put up these few ideas together to help some of those our brothers and sisters that moved from Bamenda to another part of Cameroon or from Buya to another part of Cameroon. You could actually move uh, from a war zone, like from Bamenda or from Pumba, and go to another part of Cameroon and you might be you might barely have just where to live and now how do you take care of your bills how do you take care of your responsibilities that you have be it there or back at home where you're from how do you take care of your day-to-day -day activities your running calls and stuff like that to be independent uh, financially uh, without maybe having capital or having a uh, a certificate to look for a job or being qualified to have a, a job you could actually go to you could you could actually go to any restaurant in the area where you live like assist when you go you can just uh, introduce yourself to whoever is in the restaurant and then you up to assist maybe to serve uh, uh, food they serve the food and give you to serve the customers and then you maybe clear up the table you can assist to you know, to carry water provide water for the restaurant services you can assist by uh, carrying uh, doing shopping with them that's carrying the bags doing shopping with them and then washing dishes and stuff like that you know and at the end of the day uh, the person you arrange with, be it the owner of the restaurant or the manager of the restaurant, could actually tip you. And this kind of tipping in Cameroon is no matter we arrange, <laughs> we do arrange the the price. In other countries, it's tipping, which is just voluntarily. But in Cameroon, tipping in Cameroon can be arranged. So you can actually arrange the, the price. You can actually arrange that if I do this and this and this and this, if I render you this service, this service, this service, every four times per week week every five times per week every three times per week uh, how much are you going to pay me you know and the price can be negotiable or some people want to be paid every end of the day depending on what you do and depending on the customers that they have okay that's one number two you can actually go to bakeries you look for bakeries around where you live the big bakeries and then you try to you can try to contact the immediate manager that's the small manager and then you arrange with them you can also run errands for them like the some bakeries do supply the in Cameroon already do door to door services so you can actually go with the supply agent for some few uh, days to gain their confidence so or when they are going to supply you carry the things and assist them though you give your your assistance your presence and your physical uh, uh, power your man power you assist them in the bakeries you know uh, some people might actually gain uh, you might actually gain confidence and some people might actually let you into the baking part of the bakery not where the 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 the, the, uh, the stuffs are being saved some people might actually let you into the baking part where you can render services like carry bags of flour and stuffs and stuffs like that and at the end of the day or in some few hours you get paid and uh, number three you could actually go to a personary, a fish store, a coastal, and then 
you arrange with whosoever is managing the coastal to give you access to a small space in front of the coastal and then you just get maybe knife from the house where you live and maybe a small bowl or bucket but for the first day that you walk you could actually have capital to buy your tools so uh, all the people who enter to buy fish you can now or ask them, you go to them and ask if you can help them to clean the fish, you know, you just clean off the scales, then you carry your gallon and get a bucket of water, you cut the fish into the, their desired sizes and pieces, then you get a plastic and you rinse the fish and you tie it inside. Some people, when you do fish for 2,000, 3,000, for some people, they pay them 500, 1,000, it depends on the quantity of fish and the type of fish. So at the end of the day, what you have you can arrange for who is managing the 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 coaster or the personnel if uh, you can pay them at the end of the week or you pay them at the end of each day which means there is no no uh, strings attached no bond nothing nothing when you work at the end of the day you pay and you go it means tomorrow you are not engaged it means if you don't come tomorrow it's not a problem so it's like that so uh, the fourth idea is that you could actually go to you could actually go to the big market of every town where you live. In case you are in town, for those who are in town, you could actually go to Mache Mokolo, Mache Santra, Mache Mbopi, Mache, and all the Maches that you know. I might not know all the names. And you go to the big stores that are there. Now, you go to the big stores and maybe just do an eye shopping to see the items that they sell. Then you go and stand at the entrance of the market you can do different different entrances for different days and when customers are coming into the market to buy most people don't know the direction to where they are going but they know what they want to buy so you can assist them to lead them to the stores where they can find those items yeah you can assist them to lead them to the stores where they can find those items and then when they find the items and they actually buy uh, I've seen in some stores, the people from which they buy, they always put like 1,000, 2,000 in what they sell, 500, 200, so that at the end of each day, every store that you've led people to buy from, you go there, the manager of the store or the salesperson gives you like 2,000, 3,000 at the end of the day. And then those customers whom you led to the stores, if they are nice, if they are not scared of you, if they don't feel insecure while moving with you, and mind you, before I forget, if you have to do this kind of, uh, if you choose this, if you make this as a choice to have a revenue uh, per day, you have to dress decent. You have to be very decent and, and, and you know, clean. You, you don't have to look rough like a rascal, like a bandit or like a thief, because actually when... I always go to buy and the boys who lead me, some of the boys are actually like, no, thank you. I don't want because I'm scared that they could either uh, 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 take away my bag, they could either pull my phone or they could harass me or, you know, embarrass me. So you have to look nice and, and gentle. You also have to look soft. You, have, you, you also have to sound soft. Sorry. You have to sound soft. You don't need to use those a bounded words those um, cartier words those uh, languages that scare some people away you know this kind of language is that you don't have to use hard and difficult words you have to be soft and nice so you gain the confidence of the customer that you're leading to the store and then go no way beside their bags or their phones give them at least a little distance while walking with him or talking with him, then direct them nicely, you know, captivate them, use your, your natural charm, be nice, captivate them, so they gain your confidence, and then you lead them to the different stores, or you can ask them, you can, oh, what do you want, what type of, what you want, this, this, that, and stuff like that, then you lead them to the stores, but you have to first of all go around and check on those stores, and you know, even create your contacts with the stores, be nice to the people, discuss with them, explain to them what you do and why you do it, you know, by explaining to them what you do and why you do it, and they see you doing it severally, bringing them customers, and the customers actually buy, and then you know, they give you tips, by doing that and be, by being nice, it can actually push some people who are looking for honest people to be their sales boys, sales girls, to serve them, even looking for house help, housemate, drivers, secretaries, you know, it can now push some of those people to employ you. So I think we are at the fourth or the fifth, whatever number, it doesn't matter. So the next is, 
it's actually like this one but it's different if you are somebody that likes uh, electronics you're somebody that likes phone internet and stuff like that you can actually if you have your phone and maybe your small connection 100 fans belly you can actually go and do research on different types of phones different types of electrical appliances different types of uh, brands of phone and you know their rams their internal space their memory and stuff like that and then you go to any area where phone is being sold wholesale yeah when where phone is being sold wholesale or where people actually love to buy the best of phones you know then you look for a strategic area and then uh, you can place yourself market yourself there you know with confidence because you know that you know that you know what is in you you know what is about phone you know what is phone and stuff like that you know the electric appliances somebody wants a home cinema the person comes you lead the person to the store for the home cinema and then you aid the person by giving them the ideas of which one is better which one can uh, last longer which one is cheaper and stuff like that same with the phones you help the person what you want to do is your phone you know you you dialogue with the people with the customers is your phone just for pleasure or it's just for calls and receiving and making calls do you really are you really into whatsapp or you're a youtuber are you a live vlogger do you love or uh, vlogging you know are you an influencer or you, the phone is for you or is for your daughter your daughter is of what age is a student is she a worker is it a to know the type of person that wants to use the phone to know the type of interaction that the phone is to be used for so you know the brand the capacity and the the prices for the phones that you can in encourage those people to buy and then you now take them to your confidence stores where you have already done your research you have already gone there and made your arrangement not arrangement for money but arrangements for them to know you introduction of yourself and for them to know that you're a clean and genuine person who just needs to make your money and then you start up your life they don't need to know that you're new but they just need to know that you want to make up your money and then you know raise your capital and start up your life for the meantime so now you now take the customers to those stores and to those places help them lead them to buy the best of phones and you know from there you can even create contacts you know and they can always call you for other things you can meet someone that does service trader that comes to buy a phone and then you're nice and the person gets the phone and maybe you put exchange contacts and then they can now call you later when they have their commands for service trader it leads us now to the next uh, the next uh, way of occupying yourself in a new town so if that person goes and you know like for me when i usually have commands for service right there they are, my girls are in my restaurant maybe if they are busy or they cannot do the cookery all by themselves uh, all by themselves they can i can always call somebody that i know that can assist even if it's not just to cook to carry the chairs and the tables and the decoration things someone that is ready to learn someone that is ready to be command because uh, to do this kind of thing you need to take your instructions you know somebody that is ready to work the money and we go and do the deco supply the food and stuff like that and at the end of the day you have your money so you can also be a good cook and then you know you get into the restaurant services the person can then employ you and stuff like that okay and stuff like that then another one or uh, you could actually go to where they sell uh, chicken sorry about that noise the camera needed to be placed you could actually go to where they sell chicken in any market you know if you go there currently you make your connection with the boys that are selling or the mothers that are selling some of those mothers you know our african women when they they have sat. All that they want to do is to sell and go back in the evening with little money. So when they sit, when customers come, they actually have pots where they, they just buy gas, they want water, and then they peel up the flour and clean it for the customers. So you can actually create a contact with one of those mothers, you know, and be his son, and be her son, sorry, and be her son. So when they buy flour from the mother, you just clean it you know clean it and then you save the customers one file is 200 300 500 people do 10,000 I do 20 30 for my restaurant at times you know so you can have your three to six thousand you can have your ten to fifteen thousand on the day that you work with and then at the end of the day your arrangement with the lady you know you have to drop money for gas maybe you have to contribute for the pot you have to buy water to wash the file you have to maybe give something to the the woman who gave you the opportunity to be able to do what you do to get your money you know 
and stuff like that then guys <laughs> i think that will be all for this video if there are some other uh, ways that you could do to start up life in a new town that you know you can just drop it on that so that i'll read and let you know on this channel we teach and we educate we learn and we teach you know it's vice versa you and i we do the same thing so you can just type it down on the comment section and let me know what i did not know or what i forgot so thank you guys for watching this video this will be the end of the ideas that i have for today hoping to come back with more ideas and more motivational talks and more deco more food more more bank more cookery more sports <laughs> guys i hope you know why i've not been posting sports videos because of my health issue but i learned there there are some sport activities for cardiac people so i'm going to be engaging on those sport activities for cardiac people to reactivate the sports section of this channel so guys this is for motivational talk and then <laughs> to keep myself motivated as I always come to tell you that my phones are being broken when I do YouTube because I'm a wonderful YouTuber with no selfie stick and with no, with no tripod. Oh my god, the reason why I wore one side of this earring is because, as you know, as for the video I posted yesterday, the ear is, is not perfectly healed. The healing is still in process, so I cannot put on the earring. And for now, I don't care with this side of the ear. So going back to the phones, these are some of the few phones that I gathered to show you what I go through with YouTube. So that one I'm using is actually a new phone. And then these ones, they all have skin problems because my phones always fall. So I'm going to look for a way to have a good tripod and then a good selfie stick. And then for the fact that I do edit and I do my videos, edit and manage them myself, I have to look for an editor and a manager. Hey, bye bye. So if you're a YouTuber in Cameroon and you know how to manage uh, YouTube channels, you can contact me. Waiting for you. See you guys. Love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye bye.